Monday through Friday. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
GoPro has to come off too. Oh, that would've been easier. With the wide angle still on there. Okay. Somehow I thought the macro stayed on when I put the telephoto on. I don't think I've had that macro off of there for months. Okay. Yeah. It's all going to be blurry. Okay, that's fine. That's not a problem. So what was your question? My question was if I can help you with something. Oh, no. Not okay. At all. Well, I know that you're in, if you're in public eye, you can record. But right now, this is considered part of the pod. So I can't have you in this walkway area. Oh, hang on. contention is that this walkway the sidewalk here is part of the pod this whole area here this is part of the pod yes it's designated area for the pod so the public is not allowed to come here well if the public is gonna walk by that's fine oh, but, but, the, but the pod takes priority 
over over the public right now because this is a designated area for the pod. Even normal traffic, even normal traffic like vehicles aren't passing through here. Sure. Yes. So this area is all pod. So yeah. I need you just to leave the pod area. I need, I, need, I need you to put up signs. Pardon me? I need you to put up some signs to that effect or well, show I will me. have to talk to somebody about that. I can't do that right now. Or or show me some kind of documentation. Oh God. Have, oh God, yeah. <laughs> I'm not just gonna take your word for it. Ah, okay. Well, let me see what I can do. But uh okay. All right, I'm just asking you to move aside a little bit out of the way. Because uh, okay. earlier we had a line that went all the way around and we've had some people kind of nervous because you're here photographing, taking film, whatever it is you're doing. Mm. Nervous people. Pardon me? Nervous people. I, I don't know, but there's an expectation of privacy here too. Is there? Where? Well, this is a medical event. Okay. Okay, so, so that's what, I'm just asking you to move over. That's all I'm asking you. Move over. To a, an area that's out of the way for the pod. This so is a, you realize that I've been filming this. I was just and told I've a been bit filming ago. people coming and going. I haven't obstructed anyone. There's no problem. Okay, I was just made aware. I don't know how long you've been here. Okay. That's all. I'm just asking you to move a little bit out of the area. Okay. Yes, sir. I'm asking you to do that. I, I understand. Okay. Are you going to comply? No. Okay. All right. Um, I mean, I will get back barring to you some then. documentation or something, Pardon? barring some kind of documentation or something that 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 makes that clear well, a sign I, I, or something as far as i'm concerned this is a public sidewalk okay all right i'll get back to you sir thank you well, i will probably not shoot with that telephoto lens until i get a gimbal and it's not because i just dropped it and it may have damaged it but because it's so susceptible to shaking and then when someone walks up and starts talking about things Zoomed in, you can't capture it. Stopping. I bet you the user's manual for that lens says do not drop. So just to clarify where I'm at, here's the walkway for the public to fill, overfill to capacity to make it hard for them to get by when I was standing on that line right there or so, even a little bit this side of it. people obviously don't understand the expectation of privacy and we're gonna get away from the machines just a little so this is supposed to be all pod all the time so you want some of this state water 
into this taxpayer water here. It's probably fine if you're just walking through. Look at these people utterly able to pass by me. They didn't seem to have problems except in their heads, maybe. And again, I always wonder where, where do they go to find things out? They never tell you voluntarily, do they? They just come back now knowing. Seems like, you know, pertinent information. If you were just being transparent, you might even just naturally include that. I think I'm that way. I'd be like, oh, well, I talked to so-and-so and they pointed out that the law says this. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm not buying that this is part of the state pod at all. All of the signs that say state pod COVID-19 vaccinations are, are in the, the mall, the, the median part of the mall. Every single one of them. There is nothing as you come into this area that, that even as far as, oh wait, okay, so this sign, okay, there, I proved myself wrong right here. So the state pod made the sign. Okay. I had myself so convinced that nothing said state pod. I walked right by here. I probably even captured that on the way. So there's more board, more sandwich board signs here, but do they say, probably just giving people uh, early information like be prepared, limber up to bend over, roll up your sleeves, remove your jacket, give up your hope. Please have ID ready. So I'm pretty sure I heard the language they don't want, which is not, it's unlawful or it is prohibited or you are prohibited. I know people are casual that way and they sometimes mean the latter when they say the former. But a lot of times, no, a lot of times it's really just they don't want. And so, if the public is not excluded from the pod, then they are allowed. This whole like passing by thing just sounds like something that came out of somebody's nether regions. It's like, oh, you're not allowed, but you can be here unless we don't want you here, which isn't really the right way to do something like this. 
I think. And if there's some if there's some basis for excluding documentation, well, it'd be real easy to make a sign that said that. They made a bunch of signs that say a bunch of things. You just gotta love those preliminary questions, right? Is there some reason you're filming right here? Uh, what are we gonna get into? <laughs> what kind of a question is that? And uh, also, couldn't you really assume that the answer would be yes? But I get it, you know, I, I understand exactly why Sergeant Ramirez would ask that question because maybe I'd be one of those people who could be talked away by, you know, not having a good, good reason or not understanding what my reason is or just saying something and then him saying, ah, but why are you here on campus? We're private property. Well, we're public access, but it's not really. And so go away and so on. You're like, okay. Hey, bye. Someone who hasn't taken inordinate amounts of time to, to learn what the law is and what their rights are. I mean, it just takes way too much. You know, it, it's, it's, it's so cumbersome. Like the entire system of law in the United States, you have to be aware of county laws, city laws, state laws, federal laws, and all the people who aren't going to understand them or going to try to enforce something else or just straight lie to you. It's ridicu ridiculously onerous. I mean, even if you didn't have to defend your understanding of the law against ignorance, against like forceful ignorance, it would be a lot. I, I could put up with it, I guess. You know, maybe it's not uh, just too much, period, forever. Like, that we, you know, we need to burn it down and start over. Keep it simple. Though, I think that way sometimes. I don't mean literally burn it down. I'm not inciting arson. I didn't even watch which way Sergeant Ramirez went. I think he probably would have gone toward the command center, command post down there, but I don't know. But I do think this is open to the public. I think that's the simplest, clearest thing. He did start to bring in that uh, the expectation of privacy, so protected health information. He didn't say the H word. <clears throat> I'm not even aware of what I'm filming. I'm just like, keep the camera pointed at the stuff <laughs> until somebody comes back with something. Though I should pay attention to the timing. It doesn't have a slash, so it tells me the length of the video is now an hour 17, about an hour of which was complete pass in every way. Besides maybe a couple of sternish looks.
but it's not saying slash of and showing me like the remaining remaining time so I think there must be enough storage to just kind of keep going oh but battery that's a real shortfall I cannot check the battery as far as I know oh wait there it is oh yeah good call 16% Time to plug. The thing you gotta be aware of here is the heat. It's not too hot. The phone is pretty warm, but it's not hot yet. Charging will make it so. Uh, when it gets hot, it was. Uh, it's been in. It's been over 100 the past couple days. And uh, when it's like that, you have a phone in your back pocket, just light shorts, thin material, whatever plenty of like air getting to it on airplane mode it will still get hot to the touch just hanging around or you put it uh, have your phone inside any kind of a structure where like there's not a breeze getting to it and where it has to maybe work a little harder to get a signal but then I don't know it's not that because even on airplane mode it just heats up I thought that I couldn't see the battery indicator because I tried swiping down from the top. I have the, of course, have the phone in landscape mode, but you still swipe from what would be the top if you had it in portrait. I just, just now figured that out. And now it's 15%, but charging, so. Two dots out of four on my battery pack. That's enough for a full charge, so. So I'll stick around and now be quiet so we can speed this up.
know you've been asked to try and stay away from this area if you'd be so kind, okay? You're welcome over here doing whatever you need to do, but just try not to walk in this area where all these people are, okay? Who are you? Who are you? That's not actually an appropriate response. Here's my, here's my, here, right here. Oh. Just feel free. I know you're looking for conflict. Hey, oh, wait, you said right here. I'm trying to see. So anyways, I'm just asking you to please steer clear of this. Okay. Wait, I didn't get it. Dude. Please. I didn't get it. It's just, What's your name? Please go I back over get here. It. Please What's go back. Name? Please go back over here where you were asked to be. Okay. Incident command. I believe that probably is the, the meaning of incident that's sort of synonymous with secondary, you know, like not so important. Incident as an adjective. had been pointing the camera at him when he did the little hey and like wave he might have even snapped his fingers like dog out of the kitchen pictures okay for her you know it's just that they can't catch everybody several times to not interfere with the pod you're welcome to film in public areas with this area right here you're interfering with the pod operations nope. so please go back over to where you you know you need to be who are you please i've already given you my name but who are you and shared that with you i'd like you to please stop obstructing the pod operations okay you're standing in the in the passageway How, how have I obstructed? You have been instructed to. How have no no? How have I obstructed the the? Because free, this is a, this is a one. No, no, how have I? You don't tell buddy, me what it please. is. I know you you're are asserting that I obstructed this passageway. I'm asking how. What's buddy please about that? You know what? I'll I'll, I'll get a law enforcement to help me. Okay, okay? that'll work. Because I know that you've been instructed today. Feel free to film. Careful about knowing things. I know that you've been instructed today that you're welcome to film here. All you want, as long as you don't obstruct pod operations. Right now, this is a primary walkway for people coming in. And I'm asking you to please step out of it. Crickets. Okay, please. Come on, man. We're, we've been good to you. We let you do what you need to do. Please follow the rules. Oh, you were so nice for not, like, violating my constitutional rights. Absolutely. Thank you so much, sir. Well, we're... Please, may I have another non-violation of my inalienable rights? Just, just please come out of the walkway. That's like standing uh, in the roadway. This is such projection. It's ridiculous. It's amazing. Please? You're in the walkway asking me to come out of the walkway. I'm standing on the grass. Okay. There are five people in this city block of walkway. Don't be so incident. Quit looking for conflict. Thank you for coming out of the walkway.
So Lane Perry continues not to violate my rights, I think. Uh, he's going to try to get somebody else to do it. He confessed to me by projection that he's looking for conflict. One of the best ways that uh, that type of personality, one of the first tricks they learn is to say something utterly ridiculous as though it's meaningful and true. Like to stand in a walkway and tell someone who's not in the walkway. There we go. There's a good picture for you. stand in a walkway and tell someone who's not in the walkway to get out of the walkway because people get frustrated by that kind of ridiculous behavior so pretty sure mr perry is employed by the university of arizona Emergency management. I guess that's a thing. True. Campus is big enough, the community is evolved enough and diverse enough and, you know, just kind of sprawling enough that an emergency, like uh, having a department that would respond to emergencies, definitely makes sense. I never had heard of it before. <laughs> I think he's looking for someone to have to, like, step around me. I think that's what he was kind of watching for. But he had to realize that uh, the walkway is almost empty. There's that timer I was talking about, 12 minutes left. missed another selfie. And once again, this narrow passageway I'm obstructing. I was wrong about the 12 minutes. It was nine of 12. Cross and then to the right. Go 
going down. So you left with this thing over. I just asked him to step out of the main walkway of the pod where, where clients are coming. Go ahead. Yeah. He's welcome to go in this entire area, those entire areas. Okay, man. It's not Go on down. Welcome. They will show you where to park. Hi, welcome. Let's go back to the car. Come on across. Nice job. Congratulations. <laughs> That's right. So happy to get our kids. Come on across, good, 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 good. Are you okay with the ramp step? over there? Yeah, it's up I can help her. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. 